interesting post um, which got on the quest for truth. Again. Hang on, let me let me just pull it. Uh, I've got it on the on the screen here. It's it, it says. Um, I thought it was very interesting. In 1918, when radio waves were introduced, the Spanish flu popped up. In 1979, when 1G was launched, influenza popped up. 1992, 2G, cholera popped up. 1998, 3G, influenza popped up. 2009, 4G was launched. H1N1. And now 2019, 5G COVID-19 pops up. Well, they've taken they've taken the cold of everything, haven't they? They've taken the the, the cold. It doesn't, um, you know, we don't have the thing called a cold anymore. It's called COVID. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, it's just a COVID term, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's crazy, it really. Is. It is. It's just, um... I was, just, I was just watching the vet's latest one and then she's linked back to one from about a year ago and saying if it, everybody can put in where where they are and hook up with each other because she's got something like 10,000 subscribers so she can't reply to everything anyway. Um, so I thought reach out to people, in the, other people in the UK. 9% of her channel is um, UK subscribers. So... I've seen, I've seen a few comments, they're, they're all from the north of England though, so not much help. There again, I might be going to walk about again soon. <laughs> well, the cars uh, mended. James, would you just repeat well, those figures again? Sorry? Would you just repeat those figures again to me? Well, I, I, can, I can send them across if you want. No, just I repeat, them, just repeat them to me. Well, actually, what it is, is I'm actually recording something on the computer, but it can record you saying that. I want you to say it, because would you believe okay. it? They say that the code down, that it's 0 0.9 to 1.0 and how low everything's gone. But I just want you to repeat those words to me again, please. Okay. Um, right. 1918, when radio waves were introduced, the Spanish flu popped up. In 1979, when 1G was launched, influenza popped up. In 1992, with the launch of 2G, cholera popped up. In 1998, with, with the launch of 3G, came influenza again. And 2009, with the introduction of 4G, H1N1 popped up. And then in, more recently in 2019, with the launch of 5G, COVID-19 pops up. Why do you think they're made? Obviously, I've been talking to Claudio today, and he reckons they haven't looked at things properly. Like they're the reason their plan's not working properly is that they're not including certain things. You know, like both the astrology charts and stuff. But why do you think that uh, they've gone so mad on this one? Is it they want to turn think... us digital? Is that it? Because we're going to... like someone's think, bought um... us. It's like we've been bought out or something. I think what it is, it no now. Everything seems to point to the sort of perceived dark side. Doesn't seem to be able to sneeze or, or cough without ch checking astrology. Um, you've got this Jupiter and Saturn dance where Jupiter is following Saturn. So on the twenty-first, it, it, the Jupiter and I. So they seem to reenact this on the, on the ground, so as above, so below. So you've got the Biden Trump thing going on, which seems to be like the reflection of that. Now, yesterday, um, about four or five people were like really um, distraught to the point of suicide. Yeah, you asked me. I've been feeling really tired. You said it was to do with yeah. Pisces, Pisces. It, well, it, it seemed the common denominator. It seemed to affect those that are the, are the Pisces sign because Levette said um, I think it was back in October she said those that are particularly Pisces um, Mars is in water so you've got a fire sign in water where, where Mars had gone retrograde and they're going to feel it worse than earth, air or fire signs yeah. obviously depending on your birth chart if you've got stronger water sign uh, signs in certain houses then you're you're probably going to feel it as well so a lot of people yesterday were, were probably feeling like shit um so i was like trying to keep the spirits up and lift them back up again this is a thing we got this is where we like reach out a hand to each other and say come on look we will, we will go through bad days um no matter how bad it something seems Sort of when you look back at it, you think, oh, it wasn't that bad after all. It's just at the time it feels awful. 
but uh, yeah, I, I, I seriously think that. Well, they've taken cold. What it is is they've taken the cold out of everything and called it Lyris. Well, the, the, I mean, the, the stupid thing is with, with all of this. I mean, I've, I've done this myself before I knew anything really about this. Um, when I was working on the um, on the refuse uh, trucks, I was sort of driver half. A, oh, they call it a curbside loader driver. Would you believe a dustman now? Um, it was, I think it was in the July. There's me with like four layers, including this padded coat on. And I felt like crap. And I could have got a squeegee and just wiped the water off the of fire cell. If you can get your temperature up to about 102 Fahrenheit, it kills kills any virus. It can't survive in warm, they can't survive in water bacteria. If you start feeling like flu or cold symptoms, the best thing you can do is... Don't, James. Sorry? Every, they've got us yeah, afraid of having flu. Thing that the body does, like a, like uh, most deciduous trees will shed their leaves, if you think of it in that terms, what it is, it's a build up of all the toxins and things in the body and the body says out and to, to reject it all out. It just throws it all out through it. honey and lemon, um, and maybe ginger as well, and um, just put layers and layers on it. And so you really, because if you can get that body temperature, it will kill the virus and straight off within 24 hours I, I had this i had this couple of um not last week the week before i was sitting here about um it was about half ten at night cold so i switched over to putting it on the phone so and i went to bed and i got in bed and i got layers on me and i was shivering you know that you get that really horrible sort of chill that goes right to the joints right carry on yeah when um with, where we're moving into this age of Aquarius, it's all about sort of instant karma. Things will come back quicker. So things like cold and flu um, are, are going to be very easy to shake off, I think. They've got, um, us, they've got us being afraid of, of, of something that's common. Look what's going on. It's all about making mis people mistrustful of each other. Oh, report them because they've gone out. And, and this sort of 1984 scenario, as it were. So maybe these people coming together um mentally physically or anything because together we're stronger um i shown in bug's life that disney pixar film you've got the um the ants have collected and, and sort of intimidate them but when the ant thanks to that one ant they realize this they're, they're so great in numbers and there's so few of these grasshoppers that um it's like ants pick the food ants keep the food it, it's another hidden message to humanity in that yeah, also, very quickly, someone put um, a comment in my channel that there is, is a sort of secret gypsy, gy secret gypsies of Sussex. Have you ever heard of them? These gypsies. Secret gypsies of Sussex? No, yeah. I've not come across that. Mm. Then um, I, know of, I know of some gypsy families, and one place I worked, I mentioned a particular surname, which is in my ancestry, and they're like, sort of recoiled away from me. It's like, ooh, watch him. So that, that family name in one particular area still has a quite a reputation. Yeah, it's all right. James and I both lived in Sussex. I lived not that far from Brighton, and James lived in Brighton when we were younger. Well, when I was younger, but you you lived there, I don't know, about 10 years ago, 10, 12 years ago, did you? Well, I came from there originally. Um, Where Brighton then... is, the county that's got Brighton, if people don't know, if anybody from America's listening in. It's where Brighton and the, the Dome and all that is there, that amazing town with all that Tartaria in it. Um, I was just 10 miles along the coast of Worthing because Brighton's, it, it, it's, a, it's rent. I mean, you, you're looking at, um, really, if you went to an estate agent to rent a flat in Brighton, £1,000 up front for the deposit, the month's rent in advance, and obviously the estate agent's fee. So how anybody can even afford to live in Brighton these days is... It's, it's a mini London, basically. It's always it's referred to as London, a little bit further along the coast. It's, it's a little bit cheaper. Um, it doesn't have the vibrancy. Oh, well, Hove. Hove joins Brighton. It's cheaper in yeah, Hove. The hilarious part about Hove, because I, I asked this question, I said, what is the origin of the name Hove? And it comes from hovel. So you can buy a million pound hovel. Uh... <laughs> But you look at those region, what they call the Regency style buildings, you've got that same architecture all over again.
Interestingly, Niven on his channel, he left me a comment to well, watch one of his videos. I said about masks because buildings have facades, and he said the, he's seen the, the wire and the plaster, so it's like a framework. So it's that thing you've been framed, even on buildings. Yeah. Because it's basically those Phoenician overlays to sort of, it, it's, that's why they are free masons, because they didn't build the damn things, they're just taking the credit for it. But Mason uh, didn't start off if it's much better for us than the way it is well, it's now. Like, it's like everything to a certain level and then it becomes a threat to this system and then they infiltrate it. <laughs> that's that's, that, that's yeah. their parasitic, cancerous nature. It's your, it's your textbook narcissist, this system. It, it worms its way and appears good. I mean, you, whatever you look at, whether it be religion, politics or science or anything, there's always enough in it to lure people in that looks, oh, that must be right. That's, that seems that seems reasonable to me. That seems fair enough. Oh, I'll, I'll look into that. And I mean, <laughs> you get something like Church of the Latter-day Saints. I mean, they're, they're all for luring people into that. They don't come near here for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> Any more than Jehovah's Witnesses. They haven't repl replied to me. <laughs> you sound quite happy today, James. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, there's so much out there that is negative it's like well need to inject a bit of positivity to try and balance it out again and try and lift people up i think that's that's because raise your spirits everybody raise your spirits yeah well you think about it, if you take the bible you've got an old testament and a new testament so it's a test on the mind yeah uh, and, and what we're going through now is just a test on our inner power, our inner strengths, to, to say sorry to ourselves. You won't believe it. Listen to this. Listen to this on the computer right now. The bit I'm showing underneath while you're talking is the fact that they're saying that the virus has gone down. But what they're showing us is that these areas in red show infections have risen. So that's Sussex, both East and West Sussex. Um, yeah. London and then another town I'm not sure where that is it could be Luton or a bit above Luton well this area apparently is, is um, was it a, a class 2 or whatever they call it no two, they've all they dropped call... the whole of the country has gone down mm. except three places which has gone up which is just ridiculous yeah well the whole thing is ridiculous but you know what when they show you the um, actual percentage <sighs> It says the the percentages are 0 0.9 to 1%, so it's minus 2 to 1. And it goes 0 0.1, sorry, 0 0.9 to 1 point, that's minus 2 to 0. So basically, it's not even 1% in most places, and look what they've done to us. It's not even 1%. Well, one of the questions I sort of raised on Facebook <coughs> is, um, what about all, the, I mean, in the United States, collectively, because there's no central database like there is with stolen cars, but it's something in the region of 800,000 children going missing in the United States alone. That's only the ones that are obviously reported. Um, I, I, I think it's pretty f safe to say that off the back of the sex and slave industry, there's probably loads of children hidden away somewhere that aren't even registered, so they, they obviously not yes. really showing figures. Oh, sorry, I've just lost yeah. the screen for a moment. Sorry, everybody. Ah. I was, that's it, we're back now. I was trying to get rid of these stupid adverts which appear on here, and it just takes me off somewhere else when I don't want to go there. Um, hang on one second, I'm going to stop it. Yeah, I've just put this back on, and what it is is, I'm going to play this, but in the 1800s, they were actually doing 3D and stuff, so this is 3D stuff. Look at it, it's amazing. But anyway, carry on, James. I was just playing in the background. What was I saying? I've forgotten what I was saying now. <laughs> well, um, you're ra raising our spirits. Oh, you said put flowers on. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, um, that was it. A, a lot of the time with videos, the, the visual can can from um, different times. And then the video is all about impressions. In, that's saying about making first. When you impress something into the subconscious, it changes the body. So if you're impressed with a negative feeling, that can affect your DNA and your health. There's, there's some serious implications of all this. So this is why they did, the media puts out all this fear stuff. It's to make people sick. It's yeah, and unfortunately the sheeple people I mean, buy it, don't they? They buy it, get away from me, when there's well, nothing... I'll give, I'll give you a, a, 
I'll give you a perfect example of this. When when you first start to learn to drive, you're, you're, you're consciously thinking, I've got to check the mirror, have a got my belt on, the handbrakes on, and all this sort of thing. After a while, it becomes second nature, and you, you, you can be thinking about what where you're going and what shop what shopping you're going to get or wherever, wherever you happen to be going. And you're unconsciously driving because it's become a habit. And this is exactly how the, this whole system works. It impresses ideas on us, so we take them in. This is what's so dangerous about the, particularly the television, because the subconscious will take everything in, even if the conscious mind misses it. Uh, misses it. I mean, you think about, it's often talked about those subliminal messages and blipverts. The subconscious is taking all that in, even if we're not actually aware of it. The, the, the media is their medium to put their ideas out. I think they're running up. everything, the media, to be honest. It's the media that's running everything. They're the ones keep every day. I mean, it's quiet at the moment, but I'm sitting here and basically it goes ding, 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 because I signed up to it because I wanted to know the headlines so that I could report yeah. it to people, which I put the head two of the headlines out today on this video. But it, it's just like they are pounding us and pounding us when we actually know that none of that's the truth. Well, the funny, All the those funny people thing listening. is look at the... If you look at the newspaper names, look at look at what the mirror, the Telegraph, <laughs> the Times, <laughs> they're, they're almost like astrological or mythological references. But it, it's no, it's it's in a way without being sort of given the choice. If you were to go into a restaurant and you said to the waiter, what would you recommend? The media are just saying, we recommend this. And then people are, oh, we've got a, a this or a that's happened. We've got to comply with this because I'm frightened of that. That's all they do. And it's people that actually enact all this. The world is a stage and people are playing parts. A lot of them are playing the part of fear. And from mis misleading information, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately. But it's... A fine line as well because you can present different things to people and often their belief system because it takes them out of, out of their comfort zone they don't want to hear it they don't want to see it it's too frightening to them they'd rather go back and bury their head in the sands and face it's, it's a dark night of the soul basically and a sort of initial step into it and it's like oh i don't want to go there but this is what this test really is on humanity it is about facing your fears it's about knowing yourself it's about realizing everybody has got a part of them that could be a murderer or a psychopath um or they could be the most loving person it just depends on what they're absorbing it's well i'm glad food. we're not absorbing that and i'm glad that we know the truth even if the truth hurts and you don't like it it's right i I'd rather be in this position of upset because I've, I've gone past the fear stage because I was a, a few years ago, I was watching some horrendous things on Facebook. They were showing things about out boots and dogs being skinned alive. You can imagine. Yes, I remember that. I remember YouTube was full of that. They didn't care us watching that. And, that. and I remember that was the point when the chief executive came out and told us that, you know, those people can put those kind of things out. And now you can't. Now you can't even say anything about anything. We're not allowed to talk about the liars we're not allowed to talk about this we, we get striked we get community guideline things it's incredible but we all know that they're part of all the other system aren't they so well, even though I've, even I've, though we're on it and we, we accumulate there and our listeners are there they the actual people who run it are not good people there's a couple of sort of famous quotes that do the rounds particularly on facebook i think it was george orwell who, who said that um sorry joseph goebbels said that if a liar's told him Often enough, it becomes accepted as truth. And I think it was George Orwell said, to find out who your enemy is, find out what you cannot criticise. Mm, and we're the enemy as well, because we're talking word, about it. We're talking about things and they don't want us to. One second, James. Anyway, we're back. Oh, that's a stock picture, so I don't want that one. Let's choose that one. Yeah, we'll choose that picture of flowers. Um, Yeah, um... We're having a hangout with Martin Leakey next week, aren't we? Yeah, that, that'd be exciting. And uh, Nigel Devil's Playground 2. Devil's Playground 2, you. And I don't know whether to write John John Lee... Uh, John... No, yeah, John Lee... What's his name? Live, Levy. John Levi. Yeah. 
I don't know whether to write to him and uh, I'll say, look, right, I've got my hangout now with Martin Leakey. Are you going to join us? I don't know. Well, it, it's worth a, it's worth a try. I, I, I think from what he said on his video, he runs a coffee shop and all his videos come out in the UK Sunday morning, so he may not be in a position to do so. I know he has done... He never wrote back to me. <laughs> like, you know, at least I have a rapport with Martin and I love having hangouts with Martin. Yeah. You know, I do. He's a, he's a nice guy, Martin. Like, like, I don't like know. Take. I really don't know how Martin does it. I mean, he's got something like nearly 26,000 subscribers on one channel alone. You think of all the comments, how long it takes to go through them. And, and, it, and also, like, the problem I found... You see them in notifications, so like if you go in into the the studio side and pull up all the comments and think, right, I need to reply to all these, and you'll find there's some missing. And then they then when you look at another day, they're suddenly back there again because they're messing around. But I think that is a subtle level of so, so people have a it, it, it's kind of a sort of put in a thing. Oh, they're not very nice. They've not even bothered acknowledge my acknowledging my comment. So people need to be aware it's not the people with the channels it's the algorithms that are because electronic media um can be so easily tampered with you've only got to look at um any any wiki entry and see how recently it's been updated and always anonymously of course well i like putting us all together and us talking together that's what i like doing well this is this is this is where we score i mean if you look at Everything that we, from our perspective, that is not good or evil or whatever, whatever you want to call it, um, it seems to follow the same pattern. That implies they don't have the power of creativity. They've got the they've got the ability to manipulate an, an existing idea, but we've got imagination. We've got an awesome power that they haven't got. It's all about thinking out the box. It's like yes, we're okay, individuals and we don't like to be ruled. Mm -hmm. That's what we've got. Well, I think I think a lot of it, it you've got to be very careful what you put as the title of a video because some things, if you put certain hot topics will will obviously be a red flag to the system well yeah quite um, a few channels have gone at the moment haven't they they've been taking channel yeah. upon channel down like for no good reason just because they're talking about things so what we're a community that's what that's what youtube should be about what we're only allowed to put on what youtube says then that's a dict well, that's yeah. dictatorial that's not youtube is it that's 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 just dictatorial and tyranny well, it's it's like everything in, in the system. It's all subject to terms and conditions. Which they can change at any moment. So you could put a video out today, which meets today's standards, mm -hmm. six months down the line or tomorrow. They change the law and then your video is illegal. I think it's so bad. I think when you make a video and at the time that's what the law is, they leave it alone. That's what the law was at that time. They should just leave it. That's the way it is. They should stop keep changing everything all the time to fit their narrative to what they want. In an ideal world, but I just see it as a challenge and think, okay, I might not be able to say it that way. It's like if you if you suffer. Oh, James. Ah, uh, was it? Yeah, you're I, back I now. I thought um, I'd lost you then. Chronic fatigue syndrome. Well, it's like uh, it, it's like if 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 you if you've got chronic fatigue syndrome, there's days you can't do anything. Now, do you see it as oh, woe is me? I can't do anything, or do you think, okay, today I can't do it, but tomorrow I might be better, and you just work around these things. Don't don't have them as barriers. This is this is our imagination and creativity can come in. That's a, that's an awesome power we've really got. We can find ways around all these things. Good. It's just it's just about being inventive, really. That's what we do. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you think about it. I mean, I've had I've had uh, like phone calls with people through Messenger and things. And if you mention, shall we say, certain secret societies, that you're suddenly the the phone call. Will... <laughs> That's it. James has suddenly gone quiet. Now he's mentioned starting that. out when it was perfectly fine. Yeah, you just you just dipped out when you said that, James. Just when you were saying that, your the phone call dipped just for a bit. Well. This... There's, there, there's a there's a classic case. I mean, it's all about. I'm, I'm, it's like voice recognition because a lot of videos, 
Um, as soon as they're out after the premiere, you can pull up uh, subtitles. Now, I haven't, I haven't put the subtitles in. That's automatically generated. Which is... The um, thing is, we're just being narrowed and sorry. narrowed and narrowed. So, basically, when I saw the video of the chief executive talking about what they were watching on YouTube, they weren't watching the, the, the politicians, they weren't watching the media, they weren't watching the politics <laughs> itself. They can do whatever they like, say whatever they like. They were watching the people. I just think it's disgusting. I do, I'm sorry. You know, it's not a level it's not a level playing field and they support and also I actually know, but if they with all this deep fake that we get, that if they actually put the software in place to stop the deep fake, you'd probably find that most of YouTube would disappear, most of Facebook would disappear, and they're not prepared to use it and protect us. They'd rather just play the game with the with the with the liars and stuff like that. And the liars win. I made a video about it. The liars win. The liars always win. Well, not always. Um, but they hold all the keys. This is the problem. Yeah. But it, it, it is all down to reading small print. I mean, I don't know how many people are aware, but when you ask permission to get married, so you're bringing in a third party into the, the marriage anyway, it says in there that any children that are a product of that marriage are the property of the state. So it doesn't even need but to be... But in reality, first. they're your property. I know it sounds horrible because you don't own your children. In fact, you only no. have them for a short period of time in the first place. But in reality, in common law, they're your property, which is the yeah. complete opposite of what you just said. Well, the, the thing is, if anybody does find themselves in court, is to not accept that legal fiction because they are getting you, they're aiding and abetting you to commit fraud in doing so. Um, and it's, it's knowing what court you're in, whether you're in, in, in a, a common law court or a... Um, do you think that's what people need to do? It's a bit like, right, you want to take me to court, but I want to go to common law court. Do we have to ask for courts to be heard in then? Personally, yeah, you're walking into a wolf's den. I would, if, if, you, if you're the one that's been ac accused of something, I would ask for a translator and say, I want every word that I'm asked to be put into Latin and then converted back to English with a single meaning of that word. Yeah, because I think because if you, if it, you, it you works walk, on tricks. If you walk into a court and you ask the judge to cite their oath, Half the time, they're not sitting in the right courts and they can't try you. Exactly, and they also have to have their checkbook. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh dear me. Oh, do you but know just, something? Just at, I hate this system. When you, when you really realise what this system is, I hate it. I hate it all. It's so far away from us as people, what we really want in our hearts and our, in our, in our spirits and souls. It's just awful that you're put into this other system of corporate lies and laws and we well, you just got to look at what's visually shown to you with a judge the prosecutor and the defense it's a wolf in sheep's clothing that's why they wear those sheep sheepskin hair pieces <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah. oh. this is why we lock ourselves in our houses and don't go out very much isn't it <laughs> well, I, I just use, I just use the time to sort of do the spiritual work on myself. Really, I'm just going to meet because the kettle was boiling. Oh no, you're leaving me on my own on this recording. What do you think for this recording, James? Because I only I've I've obviously rung up James to talk about it, but when he mentioned the bit about the stages of what happened to people in the years, you know, with the Lyris in that date when 4G fight, all that happened, I just thought that was very interesting. Do you think we should um, end this hangout then, James? You can put it back on for a second. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's, all, that's enough for now, really, isn't it? Yeah, it's much more there's information. enough information there, because yeah. there's a lot. I would say to, I'd say to anybody, sort of anything you listen to, have a notepad pad and pen handy, because there might be some real gem, you think, well, what was that said there? And then just go, go back and then listen to it again and write it down. Because they don't want us to be educated properly. They just want us to be following the Lyrus and stuff like that. 
Well, the whole system works on tricks. They get you to give your power away. I mean, when the classic one is when a police, a, a police officer, because they're not police constables, they're officers of a corporate, they will say to you, do you understand? Which in common English, we know what that means, but what they're speaking is legally, they're saying, do you stand under my authority? Just to mention, there is a march tomorrow in London. Those guys that went to the police station, I put their video out on my channel. I watched a hangout that he was having on Facebook, and he's going there tomorrow. It's King's Cross, 12 o'clock. So if people can go to that, I'd, I'd love to, but I had a bit of money come in today, and I had to pay all my bills today, and I, whatever money I had, and, you know, like pay my mortgage and stuff like that, so I haven't got any money to go. But I can't wait to go up to one of those London things. I know that he doesn't get anywhere, but it's your only chance to, I feel that that's freedom to be able to do that, you know, to actually go on some kind of march. But I know that that doesn't get you anywhere, really. Marches, they don't go, oh, look, they're marching, we're changing the law. Um, but that's what you're left with. There's not many things you can do, is there? I mean, there's no one to write to, no one to go to, no one to listen to you. They don't care. It, it, it lifts the spirits to think there's, like, there's more like-minded people about than... Because it, it does feel very isolating. Um, so, and I mean, it's the, the opportunity to sort of build sort of communities with people. I don't mean actually sort of living in a community, but um, a way of contacting other people because there's so many people who've looked at different things and we've all collectively, we've got a, a, an awesome amount of knowledge between us. So there might be somebody who's looked into law, there might be somebody else who's looked into diet um, or ways around fluoride. It, it, it's worth talking to different people and we all collectively gain so much that way. Yeah, well, we gain by learning and they don't want us to learn. They just want us to, all they want us to do is to plug into the media, whichever it is on the news, on the you know, newspapers or the television. They just want you plugged into that. Whereas we don't want that. We want to learn more and more. And when you do, you might not like it, but it's, as I said, it's better to know the truth, isn't it, James? Well, the thing is, some of these things, they've become... Well, it, it, it becomes like a, a subconscious addiction as much as anything else, but it, it's mind food. It, it, it's, it's not just about the, the food you put in the physical body, it's what's it doing to the mind. The, nobody's holding a gun to anybody's head and saying you must watch this or you must listen to that. It, it, it's down to the individual personally, I would. I would say don't watch any of it because... Well, when you know who you are as a person, that changes it rather a lot. And they've set up society so that you don't know who you are. Well, you've got children, you've got jobs, you've got no time, and the, you need the time. You know, most of us don't know who we are when we have the children, and we have the children, and then we have to work out who we are while we've got children and the jobs and everything. But when you know who you are as a person, that's halfway there. And then turn the television off, Learn who you are, and that changes the ball game completely. Well, the, the thing is, most people are... Because everybody um, thinks they know it all, don't they? They're Mr. No, Mr. and Mrs. Know-it-alls. Well, you've got, you've got two things going on that. The system has created everybody to take everything personally, but in the process, they, they're not... Each individual is not people, places, or time. <laughs> That's what people get obsessed with. Peer reviews, um, validation. I mean, this, the, the generation that has grown up with the social media, the, what they call them, the millennials, it's all about, I've had a cup of tea and I've got 500 likes for what I've posted up on, <laughs> on a Oh, we all, we all like that, don't we? We all like to know that people watched our stuff or liked it. That's why we make it. But you're just trying, for me and you, we're just trying to get the truth out there as best as possible in our own ways. Well, I, I, I mean, I wouldn't, I'd take the, all these figures on viewing and subscribers with a pinch of salt because... Well, we, we did that we one last night, on. didn't we, where we said, yesterday, both me and James lost five subs each. <laughs> I've, gained, I've gained them again today. Yeah, me too, <laughs> me too, I've gained them again today. Perhaps, perhaps it's YouTube's version of flattening the curve. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> James, James, listen, we've been going now for 35 minutes. From you didn't even know you didn't even know you were coming on a, a video with me. Um, so thank you very much for that. And um, uh, we'll say the next time we're talking uh, to everyone is with Martin Leakey Monday. I think it is Monday, so that's good. Yeah, looking forward to that. Me too. Anyway, James, this hangout, it is a hangout, kind of, to chat room. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, everybody. Impromptu one, which are the best? <laughs> um, just an, an, an impromptu one on the spur of the moment. I mean, the, the, there is no such thing as time. We're, we're, it, it, it's a fleeting glimpse of now. So and anyway, I rang James back today because we were talking last night, and then the next thing is I woke up slumped on the computer. So I had to ring James up because I thought, did I go to sleep? And you said I did. <laughs> Yeah, well, not only that, I mean, the the Wi-Fi signal up. was starting to get erratic. Do you, one thing before you go, when we were in the yeah. Lyris lockdown last time, the internet was better than it is now? Yeah, well, it depends, because I, I was moving about quite a bit at, um, at the time, so it depended on where I was to ha as to how good it was. One place, like, I'd upload a video and it was done with about 10 minutes, another place it'd be like six hours. And, and we're not talking long videos, we're talking like 20 minutes. Yeah. So, it basically, it's like the same as these um, community standards. They can do what they want. <laughs> it's their system. It's I their know, technology. but they're messing around with it, I think, this time, James. I've seen my, you know, like suddenly my computer's going, uh, it is online, it isn't online, it is online, it isn't online. Yeah. And I know that I'm on Virgin, so it's cable, so it's a bit different, but... I know that they could be, what it is, is they might be fishing someone else onto the system or someone's got a problem and they don't tell you and they turn it on and off every few minutes or something. But I just noticed that we had six months I didn't have any interruption or anything on my internet. But in the last few weeks, I have. Well, that's interesting because that would imply that that side of things may be thinly stretched and can't do it all. I think they can, though, because we had, we had, six, we had six months lockdown where people were at home, probably because, you know, maybe these corporations have put things into practice a bit more for their workers to work at home or at home in the middle of this shutdown. But beforehand, we were in the middle of the unknown with everything, with what they were going to do. The internet worked perfectly. And one more thing, oh, before, we, one more thing before we go. What I noticed was it was an ad that came up. It was on the beginning of everything. It said this guy was talking about going into business. He said they're fitting these boxes up on the masks. They they, they couldn't fight this 5G thing can't work properly without these extra boxes on there. So that's what they've been doing, fitting these boxes all over the place, whatever they are for. Not for good, is it? Because why would you have this whole system that's got using all these Gs without it being properly tested first while they're putting it all over the world? It's just it's just disgusting. Well, the biggest, the biggest industry now that outstrips oil or pharmaceuticals is data uh, collation. That's yeah. where the money is, as it were. It's all. I mean, you think about how much. Is yeah, because our generation's recorded. turned into office work, hasn't it? You know, loads of people are at a computer nowadays, one way or another. Yeah. Well, probably that's why things were working well because it, it's probably had a, an even greater sort of load where if everybody's like stuck indoors how many people were watching netflix where they would have been at work or kids playing games and things or even adults playing games it, it, it's all using that same wiring that, those, those same cables all that data is going through there so it's probably taken the system a while to catch up i mean it's an interesting idea is if the ai is learning from us, then we can actually probably put some good messages out and, and well, turn I, I wondered for a while whether the AI was working in our favour, to be honest, and it was that was the reason I could see all the numbers everywhere. But digital's <laughs> all about numbers, so it's probably part of being digital that I keep seeing the numbers everywhere, or it's them passing yeah. messages to each other. Well, are you seeing specific like number sequences and things then? 
Yeah, on Nancy Pileski's throat, there'd be numbers appearing on her oh, throat. Oh, yeah, yeah. I could see them oh, on the front. I, I, saw, like the... I saw them in the Watts case. You know, they're all over, they're over Boris. Suddenly a number will appear on their ear, like an S or something. You yeah. can see these uh, things. I thought, no, I thought you meant um, numbers things and like seeing 11 minutes past 11 or, or those sort of numbers or 12, 34, so you've got 1, 2, 3, Well, four, they're either letters or numbers. Oh. Sometimes they look like someone's written a letter on them and uh, mm. you're just seeing it, but you can't make it out properly. You can never, they're never, they're never completely precise. Like, if I show this writing here, I'm just going to show this writing to them so that they can see. See that? You can see all those letters. You're never going to read it like that. You'll just see, and you can almost make it out, but you can't quite. It just can't. It looks like a four, or it could be a three, or it could be, it could even be a number, or a letter. It looks like a number and a letter, but digital's all about numbers and letters. But I think the other one is them. Why they have to communicate like that? It's just ridiculous. Well, I, I, thought, I thought you meant the actual like the or the, the numbers and letters. Numbers it's a bit sequences. like it's a bit like when it appears on Nancy Pileski. I've made videos about it. Maybe that's saying that she's model whatever it is because it's virtual reality. Know, They're not real. They're virtual reality of some kind or whatever. However, they're doing it. So I'm wondering whether those numbers and letters are actually them saying that's model number. I don't know. Could well be. I mean, it would mean something to them. It means something to them, not us. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I thought you meant... Or like, the AI, saying... or the AI, whatever it is. Or I actually thought maybe the AI was just getting so big they kept sending more and more of them in there to try and kill the original one off. I don't know. We don't know what it is because there's so much we'll never know. But there is a lot we will know and come across. Yeah, We're always um, learning and growing, aren't we? Yeah, I mean, I, I, once you sort of see it, and I think it's safe to say that anything that, it, that the media shows us is not going to be true. Or we're just going to have a little bit of truth with a lot of lies muddled into it. To you know what, I it I, we were supposed to be going, but I find that really weird. You know, if I wanted to say about the Big Dipper, it goes around my house. You're using that word around, but it doesn't go around like a circle. It goes round in like a square. But it's really weird that sometimes, you know, like air is watered down water. Some of the things there are just quite ironic, what we're saying. Yeah. Well, if you think about it, like the one of the previous videos, we've had, we've had airplanes, but before that we had air ships. Ships in the air. <laughs> Because air is a form of water. I know that is just incredible, and and yeah, it's incredible. It's all incredible. I mean, some of those some of those earlier depictions, they basically look like a wooden rowing rowing boat hull with a tied with ropes to a, to a sort of a giant balloon. Yeah. Anyway, we, are we gonna are we gonna stop now? Are we gonna carry on for yeah, a bit yeah. longer? Do you want to carry on for a bit longer, or do you wanna do you wanna end end our our chat to the public? Uh, yeah, end it now if you don't mind. We're it's ending it, guys. <laughs> James, again, mwah for your words, your wise words, and mwah to the chat room. Thank you.